The hadith give the chain of narration, but the accuracy of the narration cannot be ascertained. In other words, A can tell B, can tell C, can tell D, but the message passed from A to 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 C could be different. So, uh, if I understand correctly, here the message that is being told from the beginning until the end can already be changed or different or deviated or something, right? Alright, so this is interesting, right? Because this comment is given when in the video I ask about the chain of narration of the story being told in the gospel, right? Who told the author, right? Is there any chain of narration? And I mentioned, I think, about the hadith, we can check, right? That he heard from someone, etc. Uh, now, given his comment here, right? In other words, uh, the, in terms of the accuracy, right? So one thing, that's why, in the science of hadith, we take into consideration of the possibility, and hence we want uh, the 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 accuracy, the how to say, the authenticity level is being checked to the max, right? Basically, that's why, for example. Each individual, do we know their character? Do we know whether they have good memory or not, etc. Is being checked, right? So if you go to uh, the, the the science of hadith, if you go to the science of uh, rijal, the almur rijal, etc. Right? Meaning that we check and we evaluate each character, each individuals along all the the, the chains that is there is. Right? Hence, that's why you you will see the discussion about oh. Well, that's why this hadith is considered as such because this particular um, narrator here, this particular individual here, he is questionable in terms of blah blah blah. blah. He have a track record of blah blah blah, blah etc etc. Right. So all of those, the signs of hadith, please do check the sign of hadith because if you make this kind of comment, um, you might not have heard properly about how is the signs of hadith, right? So please do check that out so that. Um, you become more educated in the sense of oh that's how the science of hadith is taking care of all of this concern to begin with right so yes such concern for any stories being passed down right? if for example for every culture there are stories that are being, pa being passed down right but we do not know right because who do you get it grandpa who told you this story and who do you know that who told that guy that tell you right and can we trust the character? We, we do not have that, that kind of authenticity check normally right, in our culture. Hence, all of those stories are just stories. We just consider them as just stories. But in terms of the hadith, we check all of those. We check all of those. We just do not say, oh, uh, you know, uh, the Prophet says this. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, just trust me, bro. We, we do not take that as, as a, you know, a valid hadith. We check all of the narration and who the character of the narrator, etc., etc. Right. So that's the science of hadith. So once um, the hadith is being graded as sahih, you know, it has gone through all of those checks basically. So that's number one to to answer this one, right? So if you have done all of the check, you know, uh, the message can be different. Yeah, we have eliminated the possibility or reduced the possibility to you know to something that of course we still do not take hadith as how to say meaning as literal meaning how the quran is being preserved is of course unmatched right so that's one thing for sure so the hadith is the next best thing that is scrutinized so as, as, as i mentioned but of course the level of of authenticity not authenticity right but the level of confidence word by word if you say um, the wording can some some small minor insignificant word be missing from different narration it is possible if the mess can the message totally deviate uh, for authentic hadith unlikely right even improbable because the, the wordings may be possible but if you say that one says, says go to the left one says suddenly it goes to one go to the right or something uh, if you have checked to that level how can that still be a case right for example um, 
Yeah. So that address that. But the interesting thing here is, if you because you say initially you say that oh yeah 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 you you know each uh, who say who until the end right. But can you check the accuracy? So my my comment is as I stated, and if you haven't heard about the science of Hadis in properly, go go listen to that. After that, then it should number one answer your your concern, and number two, would you still believe the gospel above the Hadis, let alone the Quran? Would you still believe in the gospel more than? the level of trust that you can give the hadith if you already know please do check out if you already know the science of hadith and how the accuracy is being protected right would you still because the, it is totally missing of chain of narration and you are here concerned okay yeah you have chain of narration but can you make sure that the accuracy so going to the sign of hadith yes that is being ensured to the maximum level of of possibility right so now it's, that's there and you, ha you don't, in the gospel, you don't even have the chain of narration. Would you still put your faith on that compared to this? Sincerely, this is my honest question to you. Right? Because you are the one that concerned if the message deviated, etc. Right? So would you still believe in this compared to this? Interested to know your answer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.